Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on a problem from chapter 19. Roger Smith opened a new savings account. He deposited 35000 at 6% compounded semi-annually. At the start of the fourth year, Roger deposited an additional 40000 that is also compounded semi-annually at 6%. At the end of six years, what is the balance in Roger Smith's account? So we're going to break this problem into two parts, okay? The first three years and then the last three years. The equation we're going to be using here is the future value uh, equation, which is FV for future value, is equal to PV, present value, times 1, plus I being the rate, and N being the period, okay? So what is PV? Well, PV is given to us as the 35,000 that he deposited. Now, I is going to be the 6%. But it's not going to be 6%, though, because it's compounded semi-annually, right? So we're going to have to divide that 6% by 2, which gives us 3%, or 0 0.03 as our interest. All right, now, N, N for periods. Well, it's the first three years. But again, it's compounded semi-annually, which means twice a year. So it's going to be three years times 2 for a total of six periods. All right, so let's plug and chug here. FV is going to be equal to 35,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 6, and that comes out to be $41,791.83. Now we're not done here. Now we have to uh, factor in the next three years in addition to the payment that he made. So we're going to add 41, uh, we're going to add 40,000 to the 41. $1,791.83, and that'll give us $81,791.83 as the new PV. So we're going to plug this back in the formula. For the last three years, future value is equal to $81,791.83 times 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 6, and that'll give us the balance of $97,663.72. Thank you for watching the video. If you want more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at UAB Collat School of Business and like us on Facebook at UAB Collat Tutor Lab. Thank you.